Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're checking out Siemens Basic KTP HMI panels. This particular video is going to be more or less concentrated around this uh, this uh, family itself. We're going to be checking out the comfort and advanced in the future. So uh, that's what we're doing today. And um, But pretty much the principles we're going to be doing uh, today is more or less applies to more of uh, more, almost all the Siemens HMIs. The one thing is, oh, there's especially we're going to be doing an upload and download. But the thing is, when I say upload, it's upload ish because you cannot get a program, actual program itself, and to edit the program out of these HMIs. And Siemens is one of them. There's others do that that don't allow that to happen, but they do allow you to back your. Uh, back up the uh, HMI program uh, using program called ProSave and specifically the one I'm going to be using is called V16 and that's the one we're going to be checking out today and to program this guy and to uh, download the program into it and things like that you can use the uh, TI portal whichever number you have so uh, and uh, so yeah unless you have original or source file you are not able to add anything to these programs that are is in. You can back it up, you can update the uh, OS, you can uh, restore the program and things like that, which we're gonna show in a minute, but you cannot edit it. So that's the one thing, unless you get the source file, the actual file from the owner of the actual program. So yeah, so this is what we're gonna be doing today, all related manuals and videos, and I believe we'll probably interview you possibly way, it'll be in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So let's get started. <music> Right, and before we get started, let's power this thing here up. So, uh, just quickly show you what's in the back. Uh, you will, all you have is Ethernet port and a uh, power source. Some of them got a, US, a USB stick in there where you can upload your recipes, but this one doesn't have it. So, uh, one thing is, it's because I'm using the Ethernet, obviously, so uh, I'm going to be a profi net for it, for, for the communications. And uh, as you can see, this is the, I already updated my OS, and this is the last OS uh, yes, was available for this particular screen, which I'm going to show in a minute how that's done. But if you want to change the IP address, so let, let me load up a little bit uh, for this unit. Come on, let's go. Taking his time. So we need to go into the uh, uh, control panel in here. So uh, once he loads up there we go if you go in the control panel and you go in the profi net down there so then in here you can uh, sort of select your ip address in here and then just click save and also there's 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 other bits and th things like that in here where you can change and check in screen savers and uh, service uh, service and com uh, commissioning and things like that do check them out but uh, again for for the ip address just go in here and you should be able to access it and change it and then to click ok and it will update your ip address like that so haven't uh, haven't done that so uh let's jump on our uh, laptop and go from there so to add a uh, hmr to your project it's quite straightforward you just go add a new device go into hmis and select which uh, hmi you uh, are we are in a basic 600 and uh, in a basic one and then obviously select your part number that's my part number there so uh, and then just click OK. So uh, it's going to create a project for you. Once you've done that, so from there on, you just be more or less just. Uh, if you have a PLC, as you can see, I have a PLC in my uh, in my project tree already. You just select connect to this PLC. Happy days. It will do that automatically for you. And from there on, you are just going across and select what your background is going to be. And as you can see my screen behind it. It's already got some stuff in there. So then you select your alarms and blah, blah blah. Select your knowledge alarms, pending alarms. So you can have all these uh, be in your uh, on your screen if you wish. And from there on, add extra screens if you should. There's a layer, the screen accesses and things like that. And then also the buttons if you want like uh, a uh, uh, buttons on here and start adding these guys in here. So you can do that. So turn off the screen and things like that. So uh, we don't want anything like that. So we remove the whole thing. And once you're done, it's just click finish. So and you're pretty much are ready to go. So uh, for others, uh, no, we don't want to change that. That so we're gonna edit our address in a minute. Don't change anything. 
So you do want to stay in the same same subnet as much uh, as much as you can. So uh, we're going to update that in a minute in uh, actual uh, settings in there. So here we are. As you can see on the project tree, it's already a uh, done this thing. Yeah, that open up the tree for us in here. So and from there on, and to change your uh, IP address. Uh, we're just going to do it in here. So our IP address for the actual controller over there, which we already know, which was subnet two and address, which you looked at already in the video, uh, address uh, three. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. And then from there on, yeah. So just go into your uh, screens and crack on. So start programming. So. It, there we go, and you start doing your thing. So that's and then from there on, once you're happy, just click this uh, download to the device, and it will just download the program into the device, and that is it. So this is where you would need your source uh, file if you want to work. So once that is in, and you want to access from different laptop, you will need to have the source file. From there on, we pretty much will be done with that. We need a program called Pro Save, which is this guy in here, and it looks more or less like that so uh, from there on what you need to do is uh, select your because you can see all of the screens are here because all the screens require this uh, pro save to back up or uh, 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 save your programs so uh, and uh, to uh, do update uh, or um, OSs and uh, restores and backups and things like that so uh, so yeah this pretty much where you select your program and when I say select your program I mean your HMI panel that's what I meant. So right, let's go and select our uh, HMI, the one we're going to be working on. Ours is uh, basic mon. No, it was a basic color. Here, yeah, that's us. And this is it because he will know straight away what communications he's got. As you can see, only options gives me Ethernet, and uh, that is it. So. Uh, Enter your IP address, which we already know where we got that one from. So uh, we wanna, we what we're gonna do in here? We're gonna do the update OS, and if there is an update uh, for the, uh, the OS update for this HMI screen, it will be already in this because uh, depending on this late in -in version, because my one is V16, as you can see, and that's the latest version. And guys, but one thing I've kept, I keep forgetting to say: Semantic Pro Save is free. You can download that from uh, Siemens website, uh, absolutely no problem. So all you need to do is. Uh, pro save, so Siemens Pro save, and it will take you there. But you do need to be registered Siemens and do need to be approved to download. Uh, the download. There we go. There's a Pro save. You can download it free of charge, but you need to be registered and you be approved to download it. So uh, from there on, just I'll leave the link in the description below, so you can uh, get that yourself. So first thing, as you can see, OS update. But when you're gonna do OS update, it's gonna wipe everything off. So uh, as you can see in my corner, it's got programming there. Probably uh, it's got screensaver on there now. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna back it up. So uh, click on that one and then start backup. And if IP address never goes, as you can see, it will start uh, doing up the backup. It, it actually that takes quite a bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause in here, and we can return once it's done. Here we are, it's doing his last bit. So uh, I'm done that. So I've got my file uh, here, Pro Save Programs. As you can see, that's my program it has been backed up. It's uh, roughly about five kilobytes. So and then you can name it. So we're going to call it a. Uh, KTP or something like that. Uh, that's called a uh, 600. So there you go. So and that's that's it. You're you're basically now you have backed up your program is ready for a rainy day when something happens and HMI breaks down, and you can easily uh, pump it back into your controller. But one thing what we want to do before we continue, uh, we are going to a uh, do the uh, iOS update. Always have this operating system, so it's always nice to update it to the latest version, whatever the version is. It's already going to be in there, so all you need to do is click always update. It's going to tell you it's going to a delete everything. I mean the program, the whole thing. That's why we just done the backup, so keep our program nice and safe. So and then we're going to click uh, yes, and from there on, he will be starting doing his business. It does take a while, so again we're going to pause it here. So here we go, it starts uh, clearing its flash memory, wiping all off, and we'll, back, we'll be back as soon as it is ready to go again. Now, as you can see here, he's, uh, he's transferring the files, basic operating system, so he's doing all his business now, so we're going to wait on that one now as well. 
There we are, coming to the end. Come on. It does take a while, guys, so uh, that's okay with that. So there we go, transfers are successfully completed. Let's jump back onto an actual uh, screen and have a look at uh, what has happened down there. Here we are, the controller, uh, oh, controller, the HMI has been updated. So if you go in the control panels, you can see one thing I wanted to point out is that it keeps your IP address. You don't have to worry about the IP address, so IP address is there. So everything else staying uh, th that way the same. But one thing we don't have anymore, if you leave that one, as you can see when you click start, there is no project available. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to send uh, the project uh, that we just backed up uh, back into completely fresh uh, HMI. Yeah, so uh, next let's go into a restore and for whatever reason every now and then the, the uh, Not every now and then I think it's every time you you wipe it off or update OS You need to you, you do need to click the transfer uh, button on the screen. So to establish a connection again, so uh, Sometimes see so I think when it work when it's got a program onto it, it doesn't require it So I'm not sure how that works, but it doesn't really it, it connect straight away to me But when I do always updates every now and then it just asks me to uh, click that transfer So if that happens and you don't have extra communication So I uh, do click a transfer mode on the screen. So as you can see down there that is uh, the uh, If you go to always update you, you want a device status and then uh, let's check here We go the connections there. That's pretty much what we've got down here so all updated and things like that. So uh, from there on, we're going to restore. We go into a uh, file, and as you can see, this there is our file that we just back uh, before we did OS. This is our backup we did. Open up, and uh, once the file open, it tell you what it is for what uh, what uh, panels it can be used for, and uh, everything else that you need, whatever we can read in here. That's it. And then from there on, just click uh, start restore. And there we go, check the compatibility, it's going to clear the flash memory. If the screen is that you have in there had all the old uh, other program on there and you bought or used or anything like that, it will wipe that off. So uh, that's what it's doing now. So let's pause it here. Once it's done that, it's going to start transfer the settings first and then it's going to figure, do the configuration data. So that's how it takes from there on. So this part is the, is, it's the uh, more or less okay part. The last part, the third part, it takes a quite a bit of time. And uh, that's the actual, the, the, the bigger the, the bigger the, your program, or uh, yeah, the bigger the program for your HMI, the longer it will take to transfer and now it goes operating system. So uh, we're gonna pause here. We'll come back when it's uh, more or less close to the finish. Here we are, so close to an end. And that is it. So program should be back in our HMI. So let's jump back on the HMI and see how what we have done. Yeah, starting up our screen, just uh, doing a reboot. Come on. And go and should go straight in our program if all went well. And here we are. So uh, let's check. There you go. That works forwards there we go and that's ladies and gentlemen how you a uh, backup always update restore and transfer program into siemens basic h and uh, basic k tp hmi i keep forgetting those letters uh ktp hmis and that will be it for this video and uh ladies and gentlemen do, uh, if you have any questions uh, definitely ask in the comment section below and i hope you like the video and it does help you out and get you where you want to get and uh, don't forget that the uh, software is for free. And don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. And yeah, on that, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.